And now we have interview with Mr. Mahmoud Isa from Nigeria. Welcome to our program Zoom Africa. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be on your program. Oh, thank you. So if we talk about the uh, Nigeria, the great country, uh, and the population, the environment of investment, uh, and uh, all these things, what you can say? Well, as you probably know, we, we are the, in terms of population, Nigeria is the largest country in Africa, uh, 200 million plus, and um, the economy, uh, there are lots, lots of opportunities. We're trying to get uh, people to invest, both Nigerians and from all over the continent and from elsewhere. Um, lots of opportunities, and um, uh, we we are an important part of part of the con continent. And um, we, the market, you know, there's the African continent free, African continental free trade area is uh, started, and um, we are working to be a major hub. Uh, so that we, we produce not just for Nigeria but for for the whole continent and the other investors can also come and produce not just for Nigeria but for for the continent. So so we are, we are a large market and um, will be even larger with with the African continental free trade uh, arrangement coming on stream. Uh, so uh, now the situation in uh, African countries is a little bit uh, harsh because of the corona and the situation with the Ukraine and the Russian. So how the, the African countries are getting better from this? Well, we, we've been hit really hard uh, by the corona uh, pandemic uh, and also the crisis in Eastern Europe is impacting heavily on the continent in terms of uh, uh, the energy prices for those that are important and also food prices uh, because of uh, shortage of fertilizer and so on. What, what both uh, problems tell us uh, is we should be self-reliant. Self we should, um, in the health area, Corona has taught us that we really need to improve on our health system uh, so that we can cope better. Uh, when such a problem arises and even even for day-to-day -day problems we really need to stand on our feet and uh, take care of our people similarly uh, the European this European crisis shows we need to be able to feed ourselves we shouldn't um, rely on others it's, it's extremely important and um, that's that's also an important area where multilateral uh, development agencies like Islamic Development Bank uh, the African Development Bank, Afro-Exim Bank, and so on can assist uh, countries on the continent to become more self-reliant, not only in the health area and in food, but in other areas as well, industries, so that we, we, we process the raw materials we produce, we keep value within, within the continent rather than export raw materials and, and importing manufactured goods and food. Okay, that's a great. Uh, so, um, how do you see Egypt? now with the development oh uh, quite quite impressive uh, I, um, I've been to Cairo and I've seen construction going everywhere uh, I'll be in the new capital next uh, the upper week I'm attending the uh, meeting of the Afro Afro Bank the new capital and even Sham Sham Al Sheikh I have never been here this is my first time I've of course, heard about Sham uh, is well known all over the world, but to be frank with you, uh, I found it much, much more impressive than I thought. Much bigger, and uh, the hotels. This conference center is one of the biggest I've I've seen uh, anywhere in the world. So, uh, Egypt, you are making progress, and uh, you you have you, you should be proud of yourselves and keep on building on what you've been able to achieve so far. Oh, thank you so much. Finally, Mr. Mahmoud Aysa from Nigeria. Yeah, uh, th thank you very much. It's been a pleasure talking to you and uh, I wish you and your organization well.